Well, I guess you guys are really surprised that I'm making a video like this. Do you know what? These videos will not be very often. I hate being a serious person on my YouTube channel, so... Yeah, do not expect these videos to come out much often. These are on very rare occasions where I need to talk about something. And by the time of this video, you are what you are wondering who I'm talking about. Someone named Ophibi Good. Yes, I have to talk about this guy really, really bad. For the ones who do not know who Ophibi Good is, he is a 26-year-old man, soon to be 27, who is known to be the next Chris Chan. And I'm not going to explain who Chris Chan is because I believe everyone on YouTube pretty much know who he is right now. And if you do not know, go check some videos about him. Trust me, you're in for something really, really crazy when it comes to Chris Chan. And when, when he and when people say that Ophi Be Good is the next Chris Chan, I agree and sort of not agree because Ophi Be Good. Well, yes, he is pretty much becoming the next Chris Chan. He is not really as messed up as him. Ophi Be Good is really like a um, less messed up version of Chris Chan. However, just because he is does not give him an excuse. It's like if there's someone who's a less messed up version of Hitler. Just because he's less messed up as him, it's not an excuse for how messed up he is. When it comes to Oath We Be Good, the main problem about this guy is that he is pretty much one of the biggest hypocritical people there is. And I'm going to say this right now, everyone in the world is a hypocrite in a way. No matter how you look at it, Everyone in the world is a hypocrite in their own way. So in this case, it's the size of your hypocrisy that counts. And when it comes to Ophi Be Good, his hypocrisy is always growing. Always making points up for what he stands for, but goes against those points later on. For an example, he hates people bullying him, and yet he pretty much does the same thing. Ophi Be Good, you cannot just say you're against bullying. Like, he posted so many times on his Facebook how much he's against bullying, but yet he bullies other people, especially ones who do not agree with his opinions. Like, the ones who do not like The Simpsons or Family Guy crossover, or do not like Dumb and Dumber, or do not like the AVGN movie, or do not like the Dumb and Dumber 2 movie, and, or even like the Oblongs, or even like the Oblongs. And... As someone who does not like the Oblongs either, honestly, I found it really annoying on how much he cannot stop talking about the show so many times. I mean, yes, I do not like the Oblongs, but he, I just, but whenever someone brings it up, I just say, why do not like the show and move on? He complains every single day of how much he hates the Oblongs. It's honestly very, very irritating. There's a difference between expressing your opinion and shoving your opinion down you down others' throats. We get it. You do not like we do. You do not like the Oblongs. That's it. Continue on. Now, there's something that this guy has been being called of a man child because of his interests and the way he acts. Personally, I am not the one to call someone a child or act childish because of their interests. Meaning, if you're a grown man and you're more into stuff that's more targeted towards kids. I'm actually really okay with that, and I honestly would not say you're childish for it because it's your own personal interest. So personally, I would not call someone childish by their own interest. How I do call someone childish, though, is the way they act. That's why I call Ophi Be Good a man-child, or think of him as one. Not because of his, not because of his interest, but the way he acts on YouTube and a lot of other sites, including Facebook and Twitter, even though he deleted that account. Uh, a couple of days ago. One thing that he's also known for is that he really overreacts to trolling, especially the most famous troll of his, Clay Claymore. Dude, Clay Claymore is a troll. You also fed another troll, Mario Toplama. They are the troll. You need stop overreacting to trolls because you're feeding them. Sometimes it's the person that takes the joke too far, and sometimes it's the person that takes it too seriously. And while Clay Claymore might take the joke too far at times, most of the time it's you that takes the joke way too seriously, and that's how you end up yourself. You end up making yourself look worse by saying a lot of worse stuff Clay Claymore says, because you are always overreacting to trolling and have to say something terrible or bad. Just, what the fuck? Do not, 
go exploding over a little trolling. I know Clay Claymore is a troll, but do not explode over trolls. You're making them win, and you're feeding them what they want. They want your anger, so stop replying. That's all you need to do. Just move on. Another troll of his, which I believe is now his friend of some kind, his frenemy called Jesus with Bazooka 79, who is a lot more tamer as not as much as a troll as Clay Claymore is. However, he he is pretty much the first rivalry rivalry um, he had with him, uh, which was back in the summer of 2013 or 2012. I do not know. But that's usually his first rivalry, but that was his first rivalry with a troll who he also overreacted with. Except that Jesus with Bazooka was more serious and actually giving out more points on pointing out his bullshit. I still remember the rant he gave on one of his videos, which was really amazing and I have to applaud you on that, man. But overall, dude, you need to stop going over trolls. I know I'm repeating myself, but when it comes to trolls like Jesus with Bazooka and mostly Clay Claymore... If you explode at them, you're just making yourself worse. Period. My tip to you, if we be good, is to close down your computer, stay away from it for a couple of months, I'd say about two to three, think about your life, and go back on the internet slowly. And think about this. Think about everything you do not want to be treated like. If you do not like people being mean to you, do not act mean to other people. This is not guaranteed people will be will not be mean to you, but even if someone is, do not be mean back. It makes you just as bad, and probably even worse. Just think of everything you do not want people to treat you like, and do not treat them like that, because that makes you, as again, a hypocrite. Overall, if you be good, for someone who is 26 years old, and soon to be 27, and act like this on the internet, it's a sign that you seriously need to grow up. I'm not trolling you, I'm not bullying you, I'm criticizing you, and honestly, you really, really need a change, bro. You really need a change. You just got to stop and think of what you're doing because, well, well again, you might not be as messed up as Chris Chan, you are pretty much being the next Chris Chan, and by the way, you two act. You do not want people to compare you to the man-child that jumps and screams in front of his camera over the littlest thing and rants about almost everything he can think about, do not do what you've been doing on YouTube and change. You need to change. Period. This is Brony459, and my message to Ophi be good. Dude, consider this video helping you. That's all I gotta say.